All right, so timing belt 4G63. Tension pulley bolt 35 pounds. So we're looking up torque specs. And what bolt is this? This is the tensioner arm bolt. Do you have your sockets here? Yeah, that blue box. Uh, is that a 3 8 or half an inch? It's a 3 8 stretch. Alright, perfect. These are all 3 8 Yeah. Gray pneumatic. Pretty sweet. What are these kids <laughs> Gray pneumatic, bro. Uh, Get with the program. I only use piston spray for important things like torque wrenches. Ah. Well. Damn. Now 16 foot pounds for the tensioner arm. Now what? Hydrofully. What's the torque strike for that? I believe it is let's see. Twenty-seven pounds. And you use blue lock type for everything. Yep. Keeps bolts from vibrating loose. Make sure there's a proper torque setting on it. Where's the fun in that? Yeah. Reliability, who needs that? Yeah, exactly. I like when my timing belt skip. <laughs> I like having to replace valves every once in a while. <laughs> exactly. Every three months. Fuck okay. it. Why not? Fresh head all the time, bro. Oh, because you need the belt? Yeah, I need to set the tension on the belt. Yeah, okay. Okay, Let's grease this up, throw on the crank sprockets. Nice. forget anytime there's metal to metal contact lube it up that way it doesn't seize or rust together and when you need to remove it it'll make life a whole lot easier nobody likes a headache bam so we're finding top dead center now by sticking a long object in there, number one. And then this sprocket, crank sprocket bolt was 87 foot pounds. And how you tighten that, you just put two flywheel bolts in here. And then you get a breaker bar jammed between these while someone else tightens. And the more you know.
I'm trying to find top dead center without hitting the valves. thought we were hitting the valves <laughs> but in reality I left the bolts or the the flywheel bolts when we were tying the crank and this and is what happens <laughs> so we were hitting that not the valve so huh take those off when you're done <laughs> okay let's try that again Pretty much TEC because it's going to start coming back down. You know? Yep. So, the timing mark lines right up. Damn. So we found top dead center. Awesome. And are the cam gears lined up? Cam gears are about to be lined up with this thing. Oh, okay. Makes life a whole lot easier. And this is the J Racing timing kit? Yes, sir. With the Yimbabobber. I might need an extra set of hands. Okay. Which way? Bring yours to the left. A little bit too much. Bring it to the right. Right there. these down and I'll throw on the timing belt. Torque what down? Oh, the tensioner? The hydraulic tension bolts. Cool. A little dab of Loctite. Don't need to overdo it. And this is for the tensioner. Just a little dab is okay. <laughs> <laughs> we well, ain't no fan of the Panthers in here. <laughs> And these are 17 foot pounds, right? Right. Nice. What's next? Torque down, torque down, torque down. This one, I think we could torque that down after we put on the belt though. Okay. Awesome. Zip ties to hold it on the cam gears. Yep. And then you run it like that forever? Yep. Nice. Some people use those little bulldog clips. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the paperclip thing. Those work just fine also. First you go over the exhaust and take adder pulley. Even though you did a balance shaft delete. Just Superstition? Yeah. Mark that teeth up with that arrow. Arrow to the arrow. Okay, okay then I'm bring the crank over. Hit the tight screen. And what do you line up the the main one with? This one? Yeah. There's a mark right here. Um, I've got my flashlight so I can get a better view of it. Right here. Okay, I see it now. It's off just slightly. But right now when we set the tension, it'll bring this over a little. And it'll be, it should line right up. Okay, cool. Okay. Now do you have an extra ratchet? Of course I don't. You want a 3 8 uh, yeah, three is stress on the tensioner arm okay and this moves freely okay so the pin is moving for it freely yeah from the there tensioner very little to no friction okay that's actually no friction at all right there and you're using that tool right to the j racing timing belt tool okay okay we'll go tighten it down check the pin all right and if you see, timing mark moved right where it needed to be. Okay, because we set the actual tension on it now. And we have our cam timing marks lined up. Dell is straight up. Oil pump sprocket. Superstition. Crank sprocket. And. So is everything set now? That's set. That's proper timing belt tension right there. Now what we're gonna do is cut these zip ties, remove the cam holder, turn it over six times. Mm -hmm. I like to go 12 times. Get everything back to where it is, make sure there's make no sure. binding. Okay, and everything's and then, still in time. Yeah, and then we come back 15 minutes later. Slide this right back in. Mm -hmm. And if you set tension properly, 
Should slide in no problem. Alright, Neo. Zip ties have been cut. The little lock, tiny lock, has been taken out. The night pan moves in and out freely. Tension should be good. We're about to spin it. Turn the crank, I mean, turn the engine over. I hear compression. There's one. That's one? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. Two thousand years later. Lined up, lined up, lined up. Beautiful. All right, timing is set. There you have it. 4G63 timing belt, 2G head, 6 bolt bottom end.